Hey, coach. Hey, hey. What is a soccer philosophy? Hey, I'm just, um, I'm just in the goal here, and you're throwing that out at me. Okay, a soccer philosophy. A soccer philosophy is the way that you think about how the game is supposed to be played. And everybody, everyone should have a soccer philosophy. Now, this is where you got to be really careful because there are good soccer philosophies and there are better soccer philosophies. If you think that you should score a goal, well, that's a, that's a soccer philosophy. If you think that you can score a goal from 15 yards out, that's your thoughts on soccer and that's your philosophy. But where we get into trouble is people start to say, hey, your philosophy is really bad and mine is better and, or mine is the only way to think. And you see all across the world there are different ways to play the game of soccer. And the reason is there are different ways to score goals because the defense is thinking specific things. And if you, as an attacker or a person who's trying to score on their goal, can outsmart them or be stronger than them and just get that ball in the back of the net for whatever reason, whatever works, that would be a specific philosophy. But the problem is that some people say, oh, it has to be beautiful to score a goal, or it has to be something specific. And so instead of actually saying it's gonna, it's about scoring goals and stopping goals, now you have to actually do something else before you can score the goal or stop the goal. So that's where you get into some trouble, and I'm not going to discuss all the different types of soccer philosophies today because there's just so many of them. But what you should think is, what is my soccer philosophy? What do I think the game needs for me to be able to score or stop goals? And then from there, I would suggest maybe you write them down. You can blog them at soccerblogging.me if you would like. And you start to hone your soccer philosophy to where maybe today, just like everyone, everyone can work on their thoughts on the game. You put your information out there, you put your thoughts out there, and then people will help you hone your game, and then you, as an individual, can think, hmm, I like it that way. I think I should use that part of the philosophy that someone is saying, and, and this part of the philosophy that someone else is saying. And that's the important part of having a philosophy, is making sure it's flexible enough for it to change. Well, who are the soccer Aristotelians? Who are the Aristotles of soccer today? Well, of course, it's going to have to be Arsene Wenger, the guys that are showing the top level, Jose Mourinho, Alex Ferguson, the top performers as managers in the game, and actually I would, I would bring in players into that mix that are bringing maybe their accent to the game that is showing results as a defender, if you can stop everyone from scoring on your goal, hey, well then you are a top level thinker in the game. Or same thing with a striker, if you can outsmart everyone and find the back of the net when no one else can, well, you're a top level aristocrat in the game of football. Nice, so Drogba is hitting Socrates level? Through pure power.